In this video, we're going to attempt to solve a variation problem in its entirety. To solve a variation problem, we need to do three things. First, we need to find a formula for the relationship using the type of variation described in the problem. Once we have a formula, step two would be to find the constant of variation using the known values in the problem. After we have the constant, we are then ready to answer the question using that constant variation. Let's take a look at this problem. The speed or rate which Josiah travels to work is inversely proportional to the time it takes to get there. If he travels 35 miles per hour, it will take him two and a half hours to get to work. What Josiah wants to know is how long will it take him if he travels 55 miles per hour. In order to solve this, we first need to find a formula for the relationship using the type of variation. The variation described here is inversely proportional. We know that inversely proportional means we need to multiply the variables or the values that we are comparing in this problem. The speed or rate, we'll use r, and the time, t, it takes to get there. To make an equation, we can multiply the rate times the time to equal this constant of variation. Now we're ready for step two, to find that constant using known values about how they're related. What Josiah knows is it takes him 35, or he goes 35 miles per hour, it will take him two and a half hours. r is the rate, or speed, 35 miles per hour. t is the time, two and a half hours. When we multiply those, we'll get our constant of variation, 87.5. Now that we know the constant, we are ready to answer the question. How long will it take him to travel 55 miles per hour. Going back to the original equation, 55 miles per hour is the speed or rate. We'll replace r with the 55. We don't know the time, but we do know in this case, the constant is always going to be 87.5. In this problem, the constant is actually representing the distance it is for Josiah to travel to work. To get the time alone, 55 times t, we just divide both sides by the 55 to divide out the 55s. And the time is 87.5 divided by 55, or approximately 1.59 hours. To, for Josiah, to get to work at 55 miles per hour. Again, the process we follow to solve these problems is first identify the relationship and formula, use the given values to find the constant, and use the constant to answer the question.